My mom passed away five years ago. I adopted a cedar tree and named it after her. Can you guys hear the planes up there? I'm loving what Jazul Lebanon is doing. My anxiety levels are skyrocketing. And you can literally today ski and go down to the beach and swim. Welcome to Lebanon, baby. Friday bien, done. Today I'm coming to you from the beautiful snowy landscapes of Cartagena in Lebanon, the Arab winter resort capital for 2024, where the ski season is in full swing. Over the next few days, we'll be taking you on this picturesque area, starting with two amazing hikes. We'll be trekking through the stunning forests of Fa'ra, followed by a loop hike from the Fa'ra Roman ruins to Cartagena's natural stone bridge. Now, enough with the talking, let's dive in. Okay, so good morning, guys. The plan was to go on two hikes during this trip and on a bike ride. We finally came here and the weather is... <laughs> I don't know how the hell we're gonna go hiking in this weather. Kind of hoping it improves today. Good morning, Gio. Good morning. This is our Airbnb. Good morning. Visibility zero. I think the best thing to do is to go pick up some breakfast. Oh my god, I can't drive like this. Bonjour. Sabah. Alhamdulillah. 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 What up guys, it's Napske and Giovanni. We are on our first hike of 2024. Basically, we are in Fardibian. Fardibian is uh, in the north of Lebanon. The trip was supposed to be, uh, it was planned for October. Um, I don't know if you guys know that my mom passed away five years ago and I adopted a cedar tree uh, and named it after her. So I've been wanting to come by and visit this tree since October, but it hasn't worked so far. Not sure if it's worth going all the way down there. Yeah, that's the uh, natural pond. We're back on the trail. It still feels like autumn. If you look on, on the floor, it feels like winter. It doesn't feel like spring. Not yet. Now playing Flame by Justin Timberlake. Bob passed from here. What? Bob. Bob passed from here? Yeah, it says Bob here. Hello, Bob. Geo! I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this comes from the rich soil and the minerals. Look, I can scratch it. Oh, yeah. And you can see it here. This is like the red soil. Is this what al Akbar? Is it? <laughs> Shall we pull it out to find out? <laughs> I don't think so. No. It, but it is. No. Yeah. Sheila, sniff it. What is it? Come on, it's... Uh, it's possible. No. No? But it looks like it. It looks like it, but it's not. It doesn't smell like possible. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, tree? There's a tree here. Where is the tree? Which tree? <laughs> okay. Is this the uh, Azir Forest or something? Azir Forest? Azir Forest? I don't know. A-Z-E-R. How do you pronounce it? This is a, a what? A-Z-E-R. Azir. 
Azır. Evet. There's a Azır camping here somewhere and the Azır forest. This looks like private property. Well, it's treasure. There fruits, all of them. Hola. Basically, we are descending all the way down to the bottom of the valley and then we're gonna go back all the way up. It's a five kilometer loop hike. This is how you wash your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Are you sure these are cabbages? Yeah. But why are they red? Or All the they... leaves, that's the flower. Gate is closed. There we go. Let's hope I don't fall in the water though. Shway shway. Woohoo! Can you guys hear the planes up there? My god! We think it's our next door enemy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The descent down wasn't hard. We were filming it. But the going upwards, the ascent, was very hard. And I got these uh, stingy things on my finger and on my leg. We've been walking for six kilometers. 6.98. 6.98 kilometers in three hours. That's seven kilometers. And our hike is done. I just stopped on the side of the road to show you the natural stone bridge, which we should be hiking to tomorrow from the Fara Roman ruins. So that's it over there. But just in case we weren't able to do our hike tomorrow due to the weather, this is it. This is the natural stone bridge. So trial number two, trying to get to my mom's cedar tree which I think it's like somewhere over there. It should be like only 40 meters there. I don't know if that's the one or not, but I think so. Let's go back down. I don't know how. Whoa, look at this view. margarita pizza but added olives to it and for the entree they put these for us so if you know us by now you know that we are not big fans of <laughs> trying different food or meaty stuff or uh, so we always go for the safe option good morning guys it's Nat K coming to you live today from Fa'ra today we're going on a hike to from the Fa'ra Roman ruins to uh, the natural stone bridge of Kfar Bibian. This is our Airbnb. It's the uh, wood and stone chalet. It's made of uh, one, two, three, four stone houses, but they have two apartments each. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And uh, our neighbors are downstairs. That's eight, eight different apartments in this so-called resort. We've got a sitting area over here, a kitchen with Gio. Good morning, Gio. Morning. Laundry over here. It's a duplex apartment, so we've got these stairs that take you up to the bedrooms. We've got a bathroom here, second bathroom. And uh, bedroom number one, bedroom number two. We also have a nice uh, 
balcony out here. So this is where I was standing. Good morning. ناخد اثنين كوكتيل عم اللي معروف بيقولوا انه عندك اطيب صاج سو ذس از ذا بليس اي سو اون لاين ديو تو اتس بروكسيميتي تو ذا سلوبس اوف كورس اتس ا فاميلي اوند نايس ليدي انسايد ثانك يو از شي كول تيريز يا انت تيريز اسمك تعرفنا طيبين So if you're ever in the area, come for uh, Sajman Ushe at the rest. <laughs> That's good actually. So our hike today begins at the Fara Roman ruins, which are over there. I shot them like two years ago when I first started vlogging. We can shoot them after we're done with this hike. It's a six kilometer hike and we should reach the natural stone bridge in Credibian. So the hike so far has been uh, smooth, we've been walking on asphalt and uh, nice, very nice views, <laughs> yeah, and it feels like spring here. <laughs> But that was nice about Lebanon, I mean we were up there in the snow and now we're here, just with 10 minute drive down. If you go towards Beirut, I'm sure it's gonna be warm and I'm sure you're gonna find people on the beach already. Welcome to Lebanon, baby. On our trail, we encountered some visitors. <laughs> so I think we're approaching the natural stone bridge. I think, and I think that's the cave yeah. or the Mgara he was telling you about. And the stone bridge is basically the ceiling of that uh, Mgara cave. Grotto. 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 <laughs> you can tell how the rocks in the north of Lebanon are very sharp. For some reason, I thought we're gonna get to the stone bridge from above. I didn't think we're gonna get that close to it. I was totally not expecting to get this close to it. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Wow, it's cold, freezing. So this is a bridge, basically. What you see up there is a bridge where you can actually cross from one side to the other. We came, we saw, we conquered. Let's move on. 
It's giving me the FA vibe. As well, yeah. Huh? Yeah. So we actually climbed <laughs> all the way from there till here. My anxiety levels are skyrocketing. <sighs> Laugh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, for me, <laughs> I was comfortable because there were the train signs, but for me, uh, <laughs> it's something I can do. Uh, it's dangerous. I mean, if you fall back, it's, it's very dangerous, dangerous, actually. I wasn't shooting because I had to focus, but yeah, we climbed all the way from there. So we technically climbed up the yeah. stone bridge. That's nice. Whoa. Oh, there's more? <gasps> Don't tell me we're gonna have to go down there. No. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. It's beautiful. You know why it's like this? Because of the sharpness of the winds and the water, the, 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 the rain, the snow. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's very harsh, very rough climate. Uh, you can see it here. <sighs> yeah, which affects the food. The style of the food affects the people, affects the accent as well. Compared to the south of Lebanon where it's smoother hills, smoother rocks, the cuisine is smoother, uh, the accent is... I don't I wouldn't call it smoother. It has a smoother ringtone to it. Montana by Justin Timberlake now playing. I'm begging you to stop. So basically, we climbed these rocks over there. So we're reaching the end of our trail. We still have like less than a kilometer to go. This hike actually is super cool. It's it's nice. Yeah. Way better than yesterday's. The cones. Cones? Like, if you mm -hmm. like flowers. Yeah. Oh, you can see the cones here. They're weird. Uh. When I came here two years ago, I was completely clueless about the history of Lebanon. But now that I've visited the Bible Citadel and uh, Tyre and all these lovely places, I can appreciate such stuff even more. So this is the Roman from the Roman times. It's a, uh, it's a temple, I think. Uh, still intact, which I really love. Such a piece of history, basically. Can't believe this still exists all the way from back then. And it has gone through like... Uh, I don't know who came first. No, Alexander the Great came first. So the Roman Empire was after Alexander the Great. And we've got... Uh, we've got the main thing over there. It's so sad how it's left. How it's neglected. Neglected. So sad. I mean, you should be able to pay money to go in here. Or at least see this facade, yeah. And these are the stairs that take you up to the, uh, to the fort, basically. Do you guys know what it says here? No? No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no, I don't know. I'm asking. <sighs> Is it worth going inside? Yeah. Yeah? You, yeah, you can get all the way to the top. All right, perfect. Thank you. Yes. I'm sure there's things about this online. Uh. 
Whoa. It's kind of cold. Yeah. It's cold. Wow, I can't see anything. Oh, what is this here? Whoa. Yeah. Is this a condom? Yeah. Ew. So we were all the way over there. If you think about it, yesterday we did all this uh, there, and today we did this side. Yeah. So we kind of covered it all. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So we're at Friends Inn, and uh, right next to them is our ski slopes. It's called Friends Inn. It's a cool place, it's an international cuisine kind of place. So we went for a club sandwich with turkey, classical with chicken. They serve it here with coleslaw. So due to the muddiness of our boots from the hike, <laughs> as you can see, yesterday we discovered that walking in the snow actually cleans it. for some ice cream at uh, Coldstone Creamery. I don't know if they like it that I'm shooting. Yeah, or whatever. Hello. Hi. Yeah. I'll have the uh, cookies and cream with a fudge brownie batter. I want... Perfect, thank you. Definitely fudge brownie batter, salted caramel. Very simple place. They serve uh, baked potatoes on the chimney with uh, garlic, scrambled eggs, Lebanese cheese, a plate of cucumbers, and a tomatoes, some olives, and we went for uh, mint. Good morning, guys. It's Napske from our last day here in uh, Fatra. Good morning, Giovanni. Good morning. We're gonna go have breakfast uh, right next to the slopes and head back to Beirut. Juzur Lebanon is a reforestation uh, NGO kind of thing, so they are reforesting all those cedar trees you see over there behind Geo as well. And uh, you can adopt a tree, you can adopt a small one for $50 or you can adopt a big one for $100 and uh, name it after yourself or someone special or someone you lost or a celebrity, I don't know. Last spring, I adopted a tree and named it after my late mother's name. Uh, you can even find it on Google Maps. Uh, and the tree is over there, basically. It's where I walked the other day. But yeah, I'm loving what Juzur Lebanon is doing. Thank you, Juzur Lebanon. Uh, this is great. I would definitely, definitely uh, adopt another cedar tree. I hope you guys enjoyed our uh, this video, however it turns out to be. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the share button, comment if you have anything to say. I would love to read your comments. I mean, come on, this is beautiful. Beautiful Lebanon, beautiful. Look at this. I love this, actually. And you can literally today ski and go down to the beach and swim. Are you gonna throw this at me?
<laughs> no! <laughs> no, two can play that game, you know. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Fight bien. Done.